46-year-old Sri Lankan woman was denied entry to the Shabrimala Shrine on Thursday, this despite the woman having to show a med medical certificate to the police, claiming that she has reached menopause. There were violent protests in Kerala after two women in their mid-40s entered the shrine on Wednesday. The protests saw the deaths of an Ayappa devotee as well, as pro-Hindutva groups clashed with CPM workers. Kerala police uh, have arrested over 700 protesters yesterday. போ <laughs> 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 Pramod Madhav joining us uh, on this story. Pramod, uh, here this uh, Sri Lankan woman actually tells us that it's the police who did not allow her to move further. So are we now looking at a situation where the police is being extra careful after what happened after the entry of two women? Well, it's definitely confusing, but let me show you that Kerala is coming back to normalcy once again after yesterday's uh, uh, 12 hours. Artal. The issue is that, as you rightly mentioned, the cops were the first who informed uh, the media that she had entered. This 46-year-old uh, Lankan Tamil woman for, uh, had entered the temple around 9.30 p.m. yesterday, and they said that she finished the darshan and came back. However, today morning, we got the bite, the informed interview from the Lankan woman itself, who very clearly stated that she had gone through the 48 days uh, penance, and even after that, she could not climb the 18 steps. The cops have stopped her. She very clearly mentioned that it was the cops who stopped her at the uh, 18 steps and they, she, uh, they uh, made her return. She was completely angry. She said that she is not afraid of anybody. And it's very unfortunate that even after showing that uh, certificate that she, uh, she has reached menopause, she could not go. This is a version of the particular woman. However, cops seem to contradict this version by saying that she had definitely completed darshan. So that way, confusion still persists in Sabrimala, even though Kerala, other parts of Kerala are coming back to normalcy once again. Right. It seems uh, the, on the streets of uh, Tiruvananthapuram, the traffic at least is uh, moving normally. But in the overall scenario, uh, Pramod, uh, has the tensions been diffused? Because we saw severe amount of protests with so many arrests taking place. Uh, has the Kerala government got a grip on the situation today? Well, like you mentioned, Kerala government has stated that all steps have been taken to make sure the public properties and the general public are safe. But however, even after so much arrests that have been made, situation still seems a little bit tense in Cochin, uh, Korikode and the surrounding areas of Sabrimala itself, that is Patanam Tita. And in Tiruvilla today, it's expected to go a little uh, uh, worse as well because the per the, this uh, right-wing person called Chandran, who passed away due to stone pelting, Two days back, his funeral is going to occur around 2 p.m. today, and the I mean the procession is expected to start from Pathirvila and reach Pandalam. So it's going to start by 10 a.m. and it's going to reach uh, Pandalam by 2 p.m. So almost there are four hours, and uh, cops say that they already prepared themselves to face any kind of challenge. However. That, it seems to be one persisting issue as well. Also, today morning, claiming that this particular Sri Lankan woman has entered the temple, it did cause a little bit of chaos. But however, after our interview came to the limelight and as it got spread, the situation, that thing has calmed down for now. All right. Thanks for joining us. Promote with the latest information from Tiruvananthapuram.